Hey everybody, this is Missy Hood with Tame Your Brain. No, actually I go by Melissa Hood, but I'm not that formal. I just wanted to give everybody a shout out today and let you know what the Lord has been showing me as far as giving me a prophetic warning for the new leaders that God is raising up in the spirit. Um, I went yesterday, there are certain places that God meets me, by the way. Um, usually it's when I am doing a podcast or when I am, believe it or not, mowing the grass <laughs> or when I'm at the gym. So he, I went into the gym yesterday and he was starting to speak to me in a vision and he showed me four doors over my own life. And at first I thought it was just for me until I got home last night and I realized that it's really a vision for the whole body. And what he's basically saying, he showed me that there were four doors around me in the spirit. And these four doors represented people in my life in four different categories that were speaking word curses against my blessings, needs, destiny, big time destiny, um, against my relationships with other people, or evil decrees. So they're word cursings that are being spoken and evil decrees, prophetic, by Christians, by non-Christians and Christians. A lot of them are in leadership. And so the Lord told me, I want you to start breaking off these evil decrees and these evil word cursings that have been spoken over you and over these areas of your life with Exodus 15, 6, that's the hand of God. God says, concerning the works of my hands, command ye me. That's a, that's a powerful tool that you need to really get down in your arsenal as far as utilizing in prayer, as well as Luke 10, 19, which is our authority scripture. God has given us the power and the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and anything, anything that Christians release against us through their own weaknesses or not anything that exalts itself above the throne of God you break it off that's your responsibility don't get discouraged by it either it's really more I look at it like this this is how I look at everything because to me the glass is always half full it usually always is um because I know that God will work it for my good and I know there's a purpose in him allowing these things to come at me although when I if I let myself get into my flesh and look and stay there too long I can get discouraged because I'm thinking why are they doing that why are these people not supporting me well because not everybody's gonna be happy where God is taking you so rejoice when you become a threat to the enemy that means you've got the devil's attention rejoice in that rejoice in that and stay on top of this stuff break this crap off and continue to march don't let this stuff stop you don't let it stop you it's just a muscle building tool that God is utilizing right now in your sphere of influence. And believe you me, God will deal with those people. He already told me yesterday. He said, what are you worried about, Missy? Because I wasn't really worried. I started getting angry about it. I started getting very angry about it because it's so unjustified to me. But the Lord says, this is the new level that I'm bringing this new brand of leader up to. This is the new level. And because of this new level, new level, new devil. So you have to look at it from that set of lenses, not from your fleshly lenses, but from that set of lenses, which is God's lens. All right, you ready to go today? I got to get out of here. So I'm going to set this free and off all the social media. I'm off and ready. Have a great day.